heavy box has arrived and my cats are quite excited probably even more than I am in this box is a UPS APC uh, UPS I can't remember the exact name but it's a smart UPS so let's open the box uh, have a look at it and uh, try to set it up so this is a used unit uh, from UPS uh, trader.co.uk and uh, this is how it's shipped and some foam blocks uh, bubble wrap here's the unit it is uh, quite visibly used scratched up uh, not that it matters to me uh, you also have a uh, power cord very useful uh, actually two and three wow this is a UK plug sucks by the way but I think um, I have some spare wires to wire it up let's dig into my box of wires and uh, see if I can find a usable EU power cord to replace this Brexit cord and if I can't find one I'll have to resort to an adapter and I really don't want to do that there we go nothing I can't find in my box of wires now time for the test I have uh, plugged in the UPS in the mains and attached a Pentium 4 box uh, and uh, if it can run the Pentium 4 uh, then it can run anything <laughs> if you're a computer geek of certain age then you know what Pentium 4 is it's basically electrical heater it probably uh, uses like a million watts on standby and five million on full load so nothing uh, will be uh, too much for this box if it can run this thing. Let's try. I have no idea what I'm doing here. What are these controls? Okay, let's do maybe test or does nothing. Okay. Something is happening. So on the left side here is uh, what looks to be a battery status shows three bars now it's making some noises uh, some kind of self-test okay now it's quiet down and uh, here we have a indicator that's indicating I think uh, that the mains power is on okay time to push the button oh wow uh, there's another LED strip on the left maybe it's showing uh, how many which or how many of the uh, power outputs are operational there are six and we have six, no, we have five LEDs. Maybe it's showing uh, how much power it's uh, providing, like a power meter. I have no idea. Anyway, the fans are spinning. The hard drive is quiet, but well, let's assume that it works. Now, what will happen if? I 
remove the power. Ooh. Scary. Okay. Okay, I remove the power. Change change the sound. And it's showing um, that it's I think it's showing that it's running from battery. And the computer is still working. I think that looks like success. Now, I will hook up the monitor. I will uh, try it some more. I will charge up the batteries to full. And then I will try to experiment with uh, some advanced features of this box. I think this is quite funny. I have successfully booted uh, this uh, Pentium 4 into Lubuntu and it's stuck in an infinite resolution change loop. I think it's time to bring out the trusty VGA cable. By the way, this Pentium 4 system is so up-to-date and modern that it doesn't even have a VGA port. I have to use this uh, DVI to VGA dongle. Obviously, not your grandpa's Pentium 4. Now, one of the cool features uh, that this UPS has, and probably most UPS have, is that it has a USB port that I can connect it with uh, the computer and it uh, communicates uh, with the computer and tells it uh, how, many ba how much battery it has and it can send warnings about uh, events like uh, losing AC power and so on and uh, in the computer we have uh, a power uh, status uh, as if it is a laptop and it even has uh, estimation that says fully charged and 45 minutes runtime left 41 minutes that is really cool now I'm in the Linux terminal here and I have installed APC UPSD service which is APC's uh, UPS monitoring service or diamond and uh, you can do things like APC access status which uh, shows you things like this status of the UPS but uh, the best thing about this is you get these shell scripts like off battery, on battery, which you can um, which you can now edit and add custom actions that you want to happen whenever the power is lost or power is restored. And I have a pretty cool idea about what I will place as a shell script here. Let me show you. Now, watch what happens on my phone when I disconnect the AC power from the UPS. I have a notification. Server power lost. Isn't that really cool? Now, my server is physically in a different city. It's like an hour drive. And when I receive this first notification, I will have time to wait and uh, think about whether this is a permanent or long-term power failure or just a transient glitch 
and like if some 10-15 minutes pass and nothing happens uh, and uh, then I can safely start shutting down my virtual machines but uh, when I reconnect the power I should receive another notification yes and server power has returned now I'll show you uh, how I set it up it's really easy like I showed before there's this uh, folder uh, etc apc ups ups uh, d and in this folder you have these hooks which are basically shell scripts that get executed uh, when certain things happen uh, like on battery and off battery on battery is when you lose power ac power and it switches to the batteries off battery is when ac power is restored and in this on battery and off battery i have a very simple uh, bash script which is pretty much two lines uh, what it does is it sends a message uh, to me via telegram and uh, telegram is like if you don't know what telegram is it's like uh, slack similar to slack or to whatsapp more, more similar to whatsapp actually than slack slack has a lot of extra features and, and things like that telegram is simpler it's basically slack uh, basically WhatsApp, but I like it more for several reasons which are too elaborate to go into in this video but basically you have to create a bot you that's very easy you have to create a channel also very easy you have to first uh, you have to add this bot to the channel as an admin and uh, then you can use this very simple HTTP protocol HTTP API telegram.org where, and you replace this bot key with your uh, bot key which you receive from uh, the bot father and uh, then you replace this chat ID with the ID of your chat well this uh, channel you probably want to be private so it's not searchable nobody can accidentally enter it so you have to in order to get the chat ID you first have to create it as a, a public channel then you have to execute a, a command on it, execute an API command on it, and then you will, uh, as a response, receive the chat ID, which you can then paste in here. And this is just a message server power lost, and I use CURL or curl uh, to do a post request uh, with URL encoded message to this uh, API link and that's all there is to it it's really really easy off battery you, uh, script is the same I just change the message that the power has returned by the way uh, I also created a, a quite a lot more elaborate script uh, for forwarding Apache error log or any log well basically it has to be error, Apache error log for specific reasons but uh, basically I made this bash script that can forward the Apache error log to your telegram channel in a similar manner uh, maybe if someone is interested I can make a video about that or I can upload that to github now so far in my testing uh, everything seems to be working fine uh, really no issues uh, that I can see I think these batteries are probably quite crappy although they say they're replaced I'm, I'm not sure how good they are if they're really good they wouldn't be able to sell it for as cheap as they do but uh, I will test the duo, the longevity uh, as far as how long it run it can run on the batteries uh, later but so far everything seems fine and uh, well I just have to bring it to to my premise and uh, put it into service so 
see 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 how it serves me over the years.